Um, so, but, but that's what you're looking for, okay? So if you see some stamps, you're not really sure what they are. That's often the case. Sometimes people will put them on like little candy button looking things as well is also a common thing. So they almost look uh, uh, like, you know, the candy buttons that come in big sheets. Some people do it in that way as well. Um, but normally it's on stamps made of blotter paper. So what about shrooms? So psilocybin is the active ingredient for this. Um, a lot of people call them magic mushrooms or shrooms, okay? Uh, this is the type of, of mushroom that you're looking for, not this, okay? So a lot of the, like, this is what I saw in Super Mario Brothers are not the shrooms that people are talking about. Probably the most dangerous part of this particular drug is people picking the wrong mushrooms. That, that is probably the biggest harm is because there's a lot of mushrooms that will straight up kill you dead. And there's a lot of people that, that you know, think that they can identify the differences between the shrooms and they get the wrong ones and end up with liver failure um, because it's not just the, the big ones that we talk about, but quite a few. And it's a real tragedy. Um, it's very variable for the potency because different mushrooms have different amounts and it's very hard to figure out what the dose is um, of this particular drug. Seizures and hyperthermia um, happen, but they're not that common. Um, and it often induces a feeling of hyper-religiosity, okay? So people feel very, very religious or spiritual or zen, okay? So this is, there's very few randomized controlled trials of this is what we happen when we randomly gave people this drug versus that. But this one is just too much fun to, to avoid. So this, <laughs> this study uh, actually randomized people to whether they got basically psilocybin, so they basically gave them shrooms or not, and then find out what happened to them, okay? So it was actually double-blinded at John Hopkins, of all places. And, huh? You, you know this one? Yeah, it is crazy. that our, The RB was asleep at the wheel for this one. Uh, so they took 36 people that, that to get into the study, you couldn't have used drugs before, all right? Uh, huh? Yeah, apparently, yeah. And one third of them describe this as the most spiritual event of their life. <laughs> and 79% of them reported well-being two months later. Okay. There were about a quarter of them or so that had intense paranoia and had really bad experiences. And most of those were, were managed by what they called reassurance, which I think is paper uh, form of saying, chill out, Bob, chill out, <laughs> which I think is pretty much what they did. Uh, so, Believe it or not, there's actually emerging um, research that people are wanting to use this for depression um, in a controlled setting, uh, and it is obviously very problematic to study, um, but that, that is coming in the future.